when we're looking at underrepresented groups in tech, what do you think some of the, the bigger barriers are? A lot of educators were not being supported when it came to inspiring and teaching our young scholars what they needed to identify as programmers, coders, developers, to have a digital fluency. Imagine if I'm an educator and somebody gives me a device that, you know, if I have it, maybe I've never really used it to its fullest capability. Maybe I've never really used it to code or program or do all those things. But suddenly I've been tasked with not only understanding it for myself, but inspiring yeah. kids. Right. I mean, yeah. And then if it breaks, now I have to be responsible for troubleshoot. And, and, and so what we realized was that there are there are teachers, there are educators out there who uh, either get it already uh, or they are so hungry and passionate uh, about it that they make for the ideal candidate to learn and understand. And so to reach the kids, we had a shift in that we put the attention on the educators and poured into them and gave them professional development and learning opportunities. And that pilot phase, we went across the nation so that they could see and learn from their peers across America. 